what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another video in this one i'll be showing you a powerful tool that if you don't already know about it it's definitely going to save you quite a bit of time that being winget essentially if you've ever used something like linux before you used to running apt get install followed by vlc or something to get programs to just download and appear on your pc immediately on windows this isn't exactly a thing yes we have the microsoft store and other places that you can download apps and games but there is a command line tool i don't think built in with windows but it's very easy to get and it's probably going to be built in with windows 11 but anyways i'll be showing you how to install it and use it so you can install things from the command line update them and more on your Windows PC on Windows 10 or 11. While there are other package managers such as Chocolatey, this one is made by Microsoft themselves. So if you don't want to trust third party software, this is probably the best way to go. All right, let's begin. First of all, open up PowerShell on Windows 10 or 11. Otherwise, open up Terminal if you have it available and make sure you see PowerShell. Otherwise, click the drop down in Windows Terminal and select PowerShell here. Now, simply run WinGet. And if you see a response like this, then congratulations, Win get is already installed the windows package manager otherwise we'll need to download it now there is a github page linked down below as this is open source software where you can follow the tips to install it here it requires windows 10 1809 or newer and you can install it through the microsoft store which is recommended it's simply called app installer a bit of a weird name but anyways simply head across to the app installer page and click install otherwise open the microsoft store yourself and search for app installer where we'll install the one from Microsoft here. Then once it's done installing, you can close this and or your browser, open up a new terminal or PowerShell window and simply run WinGet once more. And if you see a response, then congratulations, it's now installed. All right, let's begin. How do we use this? Well, you'll usually want to know what software you want to install first, and you'll simply install it with WinGet install space, followed by the name of the product, for example, GitHub CLI, Microsoft Power Toys, etc. But if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, there's a search command simply winget search followed by whatever you're trying to install say vlc if i search it'll connect get the latest list of packages and return some things here such as vlc vlc uwp plus player media player etc and you can see which ones come from the microsoft store and which ones are specifically linked to winget if we install just vlc here it'll install the microsoft store version so for example winget install vlc it'll install the microsoft store version here but if we want to install the one from winget themselves rather than installing it through the microsoft store you can simply use hyphen hyphen id space followed by the id here simply select it right click to copy and paste it then hit enter and it'll start installing vlc when it's done you should be able to open up the software as per usual and it's now installed pretty cool now the best thing about having a package manager manage your apps and programs on your pc is that updating becomes a breeze this is probably the one reason why people would want to use package managers above downloading and installing things manually as updates are usually annoying Say you open OBS Studio, you get a big pop-up telling you to update. You open up Steam and it automatically updates, but not all software automatically updates, usually for stability reasons or otherwise, but there's a super simple way to update all of your programs all at once. If we run WinGet Upgrade, you'll see all of the installed programs through WinGet and it tells us which ones have upgrades. For example, GitHub CLI I installed through WinGet, but things like NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, GeForce Now, C++ Runtimes, GOG, Blender, all of these other programs here I didn't install through WinGet, but because these are package managed and included with WinGet, we can run one command to update all of the software here in one file swoop. Simply run WinGet space upgrade space hyphen hyphen all and it'll upgrade all of the programs on this list. Otherwise, you can instead use WinGet upgrade followed by maybe just, I don't know, Microsoft.PowerToys. So hyphen hyphen ID Microsoft Power Toys otherwise we'd be using the name on the left here i'll hit enter and just like that power toys will be upgraded as it mentions up here from version 0.74 to 0.75 pretty good obviously i could open the program myself or head across to the github and download the updater myself but it's nice to have everything automated it'll download upgrade install and it's done super simple winget is a powerful tool that updates more than just the packages you install with it making it invaluable to have especially if you're managing tons of bits of software software that you can install with WinGet that often need updates, etc. It's definitely a tool I'd recommend you using. It is, of course, on the nerdier side, so not everyone's going to be using something like this, but if you know about it, it makes life quite easy. For example, let's install
install maybe Blender. So I'll copy the name in a new tab, Windows PowerShell. I'll run winget install space followed by a program name. In order to install multiple programs, unlike Chocolatey, where you can just enter another name, you instead need to enter a semicolon followed by winget install and the next programs, for example, GitHub. You can do this as many times as you want. Just keep in mind that you need to separate it with a semicolon. You can install multiple programs, upgrade multiple programs, etc. using this method. You're just chaining together multiple commands to run one after the other. Oh, and if you want to skip the pop-up saying, do you want to run the installer as admin? Simply launch your PowerShell or terminal window as admin, and that will be skipped through automatically. And there we go. The program's updated, and it's even open automatically, telling me the patch notes, etc. as if I ran the updater myself. Pretty cool. Now, if you ran this for all of the programs on the list, they'd all be updated, making life quite easy. But say you don't want to update things like Python or specific versions of specific programs, you'd need to update them manually rather than using hyphen hyphen. Or oh, there's probably a way to work around it and update only certain things or exclude things, but I haven't delved that deep into it. It's a powerful tool to manage your packages or programs on your system and definitely something I'd highly recommend. Just a quick final note, if you're trying to use it to install things but you don't know what you're looking for, you can also search with tags. So for example, instead of searching VLC, I can search something like audio. When I search audio, it'll return a bunch of results and you can see the match on the far right is either in the name or it's a tag that's applied to the program, such as Uniconverter or Spotify. All of these programs are matched under audio. So if you search a valid tag, it'll respond with a whole bunch of programs that you can install and therefore manage. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. It's a super powerful tool. You'll find it linked in the description down below. And a quick side note at the very end of this, if you're trying to install this on the Windows sandbox, there are specific steps, which you'll find this article linked down below. With all of this code over here, simply just copy and paste this into a PowerShell terminal and it'll install all of the requirements as well as the actual WinGet package itself. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. And side note, thank you to my first ultimate supporter, KZ.